Hello, hello, and a wonderful day to you. Man, I really hope you're enjoying this day. It is gorgeous out here. It's blue skies, nice temperature, humidity's down. It's been raining the last two or three days here, but man, I'll tell you, I've been loving life ever since last night and this morning. Been on a lot of different places, uh, Friday Night Live, and then went on with the protests this morning. We just got done with Kenya, and man, we fired up. Got a lot of things going on. But I wanted to just put this out as a concrete kind of video for a uh, single sign-on that we've talked about uh, for the weekend so far. And we'll probably end up changing subjects for next weekend. But the whole SSO thing, right, uh, it's just another way to provide uh, value to the world. I mean, Mr. Mufar has got 100 different ways of providing value. And this is another one. It's a big one for a lot of different reasons. And we know that businesses are all moving to the cloud, right? I mean, we're all taking advantage of these third-party services because we're all looking for this seamless, uh, this, uh, this access to multiple uh, applications, and we want it anytime we want it, right? We want it from anywhere we happen to be at, and we want to get it from any device we happen to be holding in our little fingers. So it's essential for business, it's essential for efficiencies, and it's certainly essential for uh, customer experience which is uh, priority number one uh, with a lot of companies and it's no different for OnPassive. But in all that actuality, for OnPassive, it goes a bit farther. It goes a, a, up a, a, another, another notch, so to speak, you know. Uh, I mean, our mission is to lift humanity, right? And the SSO helps us in that by uh, allowing a very safe, secure sign-in to everything that is in our digital world. And, and that's because it's that world, our digital world, through OnPassive and some peripherals that he talks about, right, that we get to uh, uh, to use and that is going to save our friends in the entire world. The entire population is our, our market, right? So we've got some 8 billion friends that we want to try to help out. And we want to try to do that by saving them time and money just like we do the founders so that we don't get caught up so much in the struggle of the world or day-to-day -day drudgery of trying to earn a living or, you know, trying to trying to get ahead a little bit. You know, we want to save time. We want to, even if it's just a couple hours a day, like Mr. Mufara said, you know, even if it's just a couple hours a day, that's a lot of hours saved over a year with the population of the world. So, I mean, there's a lot that can be done. And in many cases, it's going to be a lot more than a couple hours a day. In many cases, it's going to be giving, uh, uh, providing a lot of money and saving a whole lot of time. And that just means that life is going to be a whole lot better for everybody on the planet, right? So anyway, back to SSO, single sign-on. And what is it and how does it work? Well, single sign-on is an authentication uh, process. It's a, a verification process that allows users to securely access multiple related applications or systems using one set of credentials. So the process is actually based on and or based between uh, entities, right? It's based on the trust between those entities, between the folks that hold the identity information called the identity provider, uh, IDP. That's us, the users, and those that can identify or authenticate us as users for the service provider, which is... Uh, in our particular instance, it's going to be all founders, right? Our service provider is on passive. And there's three main players to this. Uh, that, like I uh, just said, I, there's the identity provider, the trusted agent, and then there's the service provider. So as a identity provider, when we type in our information uh, for all founders, that's our ID and our password into the signing page, it goes out as, as a request out to uh, the powers that be, so to speak, via SQL, which is pronounced uh, SQL, and it stands for Structured Query Language. You don't really need to know all that, but it is structured in that it uses a specific syntax, which can include words like from or where, and signs like you know equal or greater than and it's just it's, it's it's a language right it's it's a it's it's a query in that it asks for specific types of information and it's a language in that it's written in a form understandable to computers right it's called 
uh, computer scripting language. And scripting languages are, uh, they're a specific type of computer language that you use to give instructions to software. Um, this particular, uh, the way it works is to interpret and execute one command at a time. Um, think of uh, website, website browsers, web browsers. That, that's, that's a good example of this kind of uh, technology or, or, or uh, uh, language. Anyway, getting back, sorry about that. Getting back as an identity provider, when we type the information in to sign on to the page, it goes out for a request for verification of that user identity. Of it, it's actually, we're requesting that the verifying people verify what we're putting in to give us access to uh, the processes or the applications on the software that we want to access, right? And it does that by matching the information we send to a database they've got. If there's a match, boom, the user's credentials are authenticated and access is given to that site. In our case, OnPassive runs that database, right? And so they have a branch that authenticates what we're putting in and life is pretty good. I mean, who, who better to trust in OnPassive, right? But the purpose, the main purpose of single sign-on is to give users the ability to safely and securely log into apps and resources inside a trusted group. Now, in our case, founders, right, and for the founders, that group um, is housing the apps that we want to access, and that's called old founders, or later on, you know, once we make the switch and migrate so that everything's in on passive database, then we'll be accessing the on passive uh universe and the digital ecosystem but either way to do this we're using a set of credentials that is just um well let me put it this way we're using a single set of credentials meaning that there's two pieces to it uh, actually there's there's three if you really get technical there's your email id there's the password uh and there's also a time uh, configuration for the session so but I'll get into that but that's that also goes into the six digit code that we use I'll get into that a little later anyway for the single sign-on there are a lot of benefits uh, first of all it makes things really really easy uh, employees customers founders probably don't want to take a lot of time memorizing a bunch of different credentials, right? Logins, passwords, those sorts of things for multiple applications. With SSO, we don't have to because we're not signing in multiple times. One time, done and done. It also saves money. Uh, what if our IT folks all had to support multiple app sign-ins for setting up, for switching, resetting passwords, lost passwords, crazy stuff, right? Hey, that takes a lot of time, right? There was a study that was actually done that showed over 50% of all help desks calls were due to password issues. <laughs> Imagine that, right? The more passwords the user has, the greater the chance of forgetting them. So SSO drives down that cost. It helps with help desk costs, right? SSO can cut, cut those passwords all out but one and save resources and money for a better use elsewhere. It also gives us a lot better security, right? With good practices, SSO will significantly decrease the likelihood of password-related hacks. This is because users only need to remember one password for all their applications, right? Makes sense, right? So they're more likely to create a good, solid, hard to guess, maybe complex phrase right, which is what we want for password security. They're also less likely to reuse passwords or to write them down, and that's going to reduce the risk of losing them or somebody stealing them even, right? It's also more secure for the business since there are less opportunities for that password to be lost, stolen, or perhaps even reused. But in our case, on passive takes it to the next level, which you would expect. I mean, Mr. Mufar's whole mindset is about over delivery, right? And he provides an additional layer of security that we've come to know and love as OTP, the one-time password. Now, with combining SSO uh, and the 
uh, one-time password that follows it immediately, we enter into an area called multi-factor authentication, MFA. And that's when you add them together, it's, we qualify for that because it simply requires that a user, us, logging in, provide at least two pieces of evidence to prove our identity to log in. In this case, not only are we providing the uh, email address and the password for our account, but immediately upon verification of that email and password, on passive will send us to our email, which we should only have access to, a six digit code that we then retrieve and put in there and they say, okay, you had the right password. We sent you an ID or our code and we know that this is a code so you had access to the email. So we are very sure now that this is you. So yes, we're gonna give you access to the OnPassive site and the founder site and everything that you wanna get access for. So that's really how it works, right? And this code can be delivered a number of ways, but obviously we do it through e to email and I, for one, am extremely glad that Mr. Mufar has seen fit to incorporate that, that extra level of security. Um, I would have it no other way. Again, SSO is also better uh, because it gives us a very enhanced, heightened, much better customer experience. I mean, how could it not, right? It makes everything so easy that it's like one password and you got access to everything. I mean, if you think about it, it's been shown for those folks on shopping sites, when you when you log into a shopping site, 20% of the folks that have something in their cart abandon the shopping cart because the password reset issues or forgotten passwords, or they just find the whole thing too tedious and they're like, oh, screw this, it'll go somewhere else because it's just too hard. That's a lot of jack left on the table, man. So SSO helps with that as well. And I'm... I'm pointing to that as a way for you to see also that SSO will help with a great many other things, right, that turn into something that's going to be very good for you, such as customer loyalty, higher conversion rates, enhanced brand visibility. That should be important to you because on passive is branding you, not on passive, right? And the SSO will also create a uh, environment for increasing your productivity. Um, not only as founders for running whatever you're doing, but for employees in general, right? Single sign-on increases productivity by reducing the amount of time that's spent signing on and managing all these passwords, changing and resetting passwords, not to mention trying to remember which of these are for what and where did I put them last and yada, 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 right? That wasted time really adds up. SSO allows users to skip all that extra time spent logging in and wasting your time. And additionally, as is the case with OnPassive, the SSO solutions gives us access to a, a doc. Actually, I think OnPassive says it's a dashboard, which is absolutely correct. And everything is on that dashboard. It's at our fingertips. It's allowing us to work or to play a lot more efficiently. And that's going to increase any kind of productivity. It's going to reduce the stress you're feeling. And as an aside, let me tell you, we've got a lot of things going on on that site. But I, this is not to say that once you log on, it's going to be a whole bubble of activity and look very, very busy. No, Mr. Mufari and the TAC team have gone to great pains to make sure that that site is clean, fresh, and easy to use. So... When you consider having a single sign-on at one location, right, that allows access to every platform and every product, including a global marketplace, that's important, right? Now think about that for a minute, because as founders, we have the potential to earn from every transaction that happens anywhere within OnPassive, and everything in there is also connected to a wallet, a wallet with not only additional layers of security, but with security with cutting-edge features and encryption, and that wallet can transfer funds freely and seamlessly between the wallets in on passive and it also connects to external financial institutions and it can do it all from one location that should probably make your head spin so i'm gonna let that go right now and just i hope you got something out of that but i do want to say hey go to onpassive.com you're gonna see that we launched a brand new website again the graphics and layout is spectacular, and it's going to be shortly replicated to us all. You know how Mr. Mufar does, right? We'll get links to it. 
So please go to unpassit.com and navigate through it. Check it out because it's time now to ramp up the products production. You're going to see uh, new links and such for O'Doodle and O'Booking and Oh My Life and O'Host and a host of others. Uh, the SSL is going to be the same, but it's just going to open a lot more windows, more products, more features, right? The unpassive way. Boom. Hoo-yah, Mr. Mufar, I get it. But hang on because, all right, there's my puppy. But things are moving. Now, in another week, we're going to have another new website, and it's not just going to uh, go away. We're going to keep compounding these things. The blog has changed, too. And in a week, it's going to be new. That's how fast things are changing. And speaking of which, the founder's position is coming to an end. Remember to log into 360 next week to hear what is going to be uh, happening with that. And as always, if you've been invited, get back to the person that invited you to be a founder. They'll like that. If you have not, just link down and uh, go to the description box and click the link or go to unpassive.com. You can learn more and sign up. Other than that, regardless of what you decide to do, just know that we wish nothing but blessing and blessing upon you and upon your entire family. Thank you.